Located in the heart of bourbon country, Lexington, Kentucky is a great place to enjoy a drink and have a great night out on the town. And the revitalized distillery district has become a go-to spot in Lexington's active social scene. At one time, the area was the home of Lexington's first distillery. And in 2013, developers began turning the property into an entertainment complex. Local musician Scott Whitten, bassist for the band Letters of Acceptance, discusses the revitalization of the area. When I moved to Lexington in 2006, this was like a field or whatever. Like this, it's hard to imagine how all this sprung up in that's a decade and a half. That's pretty quickly. So seeing how this turned into entertainment space and art space and all kinds of good restaurants and things to do, this is pretty great. So I'd say it's changed quite well. In 2016, the borough was opened as one of the earliest establishments in the distillery district. Now Lexington's most popular local music venue, the borough was opened in a renovated old loading dock built for the railway running through the property. Now, the borough hosts live music over 300 nights a year. The showroom is set up in a classic concert hall layout with a small stage at one end and a bar at the other. Acoustics are highly controllable with the straightforward design, leading concert goers to always have a great listening experience. Gideon Mackey and Elizabeth Varnado of Lilac talk about their experiences performing at the Burl. This is a unique venue, um, lots of different variety and artists, and um, I think it's always kind of proved to be like a good spot to go to in town. So um, I think if anything, it's just been like more folks throughout the years that have gathered in. I'd agree, it's definitely more people coming, more shows happening, uh, bigger acts coming through, and then just playing here, it's like, it was always pro, it was always like really professional, but it's just like gotten more and more so, I think, over the past few years. Witten discusses the reasons he believes the borough has become it's such a success. Out. They've been really, you know, very generous with their time. One of the things I love about these guys is they have a, a national viewpoint in terms of bringing in bands, doing regional touring acts and national touring acts, but they also have a deep love of Lexington and Kentucky and the region, and they're incredibly generous with opening stages for a whole lot of people. We have loved playing at the Borough for a long time. All of these elements are what has enabled the Borough to become Lexington's go-to for live music. But that's not all the borough has to offer. In fact, the borough consists of two buildings, the music room and the arcade. The arcade, with a fully stocked bar, is full of classic arcade games, skee-ball, and a retro 80s feel, highlighted by the TV wall, a popular selfie location and hangout area. There is even an old cigarette vending machine. Within the arcade lies over 30 old school arcade cabinets, with games ranging from NBA Jam and Mortal Kombat to Super Mario Brothers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tetris, and Donkey Kong. The arcade is also home to many board games, consoles, and the city of Lexington's largest pinball collection. While bouncing back and forth between the two buildings, customers often hang outside by the fire pit, an excellent conversation spot and chill area. Food by Kismet, located right next to the arcade, has become a staple of the borough, serving several unique made-from-scratch items such as donut burgers, fried potato hash, cinnamon rolls, crisp cauliflower, and the famous Tonya's pie which happens to be made up of whatever she's feeling, as listed on the menu. Whether you're looking for live music, classic arcade games, or just wanting to get a bite to eat, the Burl's got you covered. <laughs>